22 long rifle out of a Henry lever action. And what I didn't tell you guys is that uh, that, that cylinder doesn't have any air in it, unfortunately. It won't hold air, and it's beyond its max service life. You only get 15 years out of those types of cylinders. So we'll see what this, is, what this 22 does. If anything, I'm sort of thinking probably nothing. <laughs> well, I definitely hit it. I hit it right here, actually. Like right where I have the rope on it, up here in the neck of the, of the bottle. It definitely destroyed the gauge in here. But uh, other than that, no damage. 22 didn't do much. Let's try 9mm out of this SIG P365. It's a little bit farther than I wanted to shoot this, and we'll see if it takes me one or two shots to get one on that tank. Let's check it out. Oh, hit it on the first shot. Let's go down and take a look. So I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed that I got a, a, a first shot hit. That's about uh, 22 yards from there all the way down to here with that little P365. It's barely fits in your hand. Uh, but I'm just pretty excited about that. So nine millimeter uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, made this fiberglass matting here, this uh, epoxy reinforcement kind of broke that a little bit. Didn't do too terribly much. Let's move up to the 45 ACP and see if the, the gun that won World War One and Two can do anything else to this. Next up, we'll try the 45 ACP. This is a Rock Island Armory GI model. Nothing fancy. Does have the uh, the um, threaded barrel so that you can put a silencer on it. I've made a couple videos about that. Oh, that nailed it. Nailed it. And the funny thing was, I was just practicing out here and I couldn't hit a thing. And the first shot looks like we got it right in the dead center. So as you guys saw, the 45 has a lot more smack than that 9mm does. And from the damage that it did, you can tell just a lot more energy coming with that 45. It didn't go through, but it did definitely do some damage to this thing. We're, you know, a couple layers deep into this epoxy and this fiberglass. And so let's go from here. Let's try 12 gauge. Let's see what double out buck will do to one of these things. I bet it's not as much as the 45. Next up, we'll try double out buck out of this. Uh, it's two and three quarter double out buck out of this Panzer BP-12 bullpup shotgun. It's a pretty sweet shotgun. Uh, has a couple little hiccups as far as cycling lower uh, power loads, but for the most part, it's pretty legit. Let's see if this does anything more than that 45 did. If I hit it. That was pretty impressive. Uh, that might be, that might have done the trick. Let's take a look. So that double out buck definitely hit harder than I thought it was. And actually when I shot it, the first thing I thought was, I hope I didn't just blow up my GoPro. But if we look here, we did a significant amount of damage to it. And I thought that like this hole here might be through, but it's not. Uh, this one here is I think from the 45. And then some of these other ones, we're just tearing up this epoxy fiberglass, but uh, we haven't gotten through yet. So let's step up to real deal rifle rounds. We'll start off with the 300 blackout and then move up from there. Alrighty, boys and girls, next up, 300 Blackout out of the Palmetto State Armory uh, 300 Blackout short barrel rifle, and I happen to have the hybrid, su hybrid 46 suppressor on it that I've done several videos on. This gun has been a lot of fun. Just the way it looks, the way it shoots, we'll just do a couple here real quick. Especially with the silencer in here, you can really have a lot of fun, especially with subsonic ammunition, and I have a good time. Let's get one on that tank down there, see if the 300 Blackout, and these are supersonics, has what it takes. Missed. Got it that time. I may have hit the side of it, but we'll go down and see what happened. So it looks like I hit this thing on the right side, like it uh, came around and hit it here. I'm going to go back up and shoot it again, try to get a better center mass shot, and because uh, I don't think that really gives us a good idea. All right, so the 300 blackout did it. This is the exit hole. But when we were looking at this, we saw that there was another hole here that uh, was kind of unaccounted for before. And when we go around to the front side, we'll take a look at it. But what I think happened is something that we shot in here, and we'll have to go back in the tape to see what happened. 
got almost all the way through and then was stopped by this last layer of epoxy. But then when this 300 blackout punched through, it uh, opened up all of these things and you know made this more visible. That's the best thing that I can come up with. But uh, when we looked at where the entrance hole was, again, we had to go back to the, to the tape to find out. I believe that this is the 300 blackout and that is where it goes straight through. And this is whatever we shot it with before. And I wanna say that this may be the, uh, this may be the, um, the double lot buck, but it was kind of a much dip, more difficult hole to jam into. You kind of had to really jam this uh, dart into there, but this one here is clearly the 300 blackout. So we're gonna go back up and just see what these other calibers that I brought down do to this thing, 556, 762 by 39, and 65 Creedmoor, just to see if it's just, you know, total annihilation. For my next trick, we have another one of America's doll babies, AR-15. And in this one, I have just regular 55 grain, you know, regular old ammunition and then on the next shot i have a 62 grain green tip m855 uh the armor piercing one so we'll see if there's any difference between the two that was just the regular one we'll see if it'll stop swinging or i'll just kind of hit it again but this one is the green tip I might have just went straight through it, to be honest with you. Let's go take a look. So it didn't hold a candle to the 5.56. It's absolutely wild. We got a couple more holes. I think these two here may be new uh, right there in the front. But then when you turn it around to the backside, it's just annihilation. Uh, this thing is losing big time. And I, from what I saw from that uh, green tip, it barely made the thing move. So that thing might've just zipped straight through the thing and really barely had any resistance with that steel core. Let's try the AK-47 and then we'll do a 7.6, or not a 7.62, we'll do a 6.5 Creedmoor with a soft tip. See if that really just blasts this thing to bits. So for our final trick of the day, we're gonna use the vulnerable AK-47. It's been around forever. Shoots a round that's similar in size as far as the bullet itself to the 300 blackout, but with a lot more energy because it has the full uh, case on it. And then we're also going to use this 6.5 Creedmoor with this, uh, I think it's 140 grain, I think, soft nose bullet just to see what this does to it uh, in the very end for kind of the terminal burn, so to speak. So first up, AK-47. It just, it just absolutely eats it up. Uh, I, I love the AK-47. It puts a lot of energy right into the target with that big old 7.62 bullet. Uh, it's a pretty awesome gun, if not uh, right up there with the AR-15. So we'll load this one up. And we'll just shoot it from the shoulder here. Again, this is soft tip uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. I don't know. Did I hit that? I hit it, but I'm not sure what it did to it. So, as expected, AK-47 just blew another hole in it. I think this is my 6.5 Creedmoor shot, and I came a little bit to the right. Let's see if we can put one right in the center. Let's go up and, and really put, uh, put it right on there. I have absolutely no idea where that thing actually hit. We're starting to get so many hits on this thing that it's just impossible to find, but there's still smoke coming out of this. It reeks like burnt plastic or rubber or something, but that is the backside since we've been shooting this thing with rifle rounds. So guys, uh, if you had fun today, leave me a like for sure. Leave me a comment down below it's Just if, if this surprised you. If not, if you want to see any other calibers shot at these, I do have one more, so we can uh, definitely do this again. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below. Really blow this channel up. We have a million views, but only 4,000 something subscribers. And so if you would uh, subscribe, it helps me feed these guns, helps me feed these cameras, and helps me keep getting new guns for you guys to see here at our awesome shooting range. Also, lots of upgrades coming in here because this is kind of getting uh, pretty darn janky looking i appreciate you guys watching today and i will see you in the next one hear that bullets <laughs>